Yo, what's going on, shroomies and shroomettes? It's your guy with the fun jar, Easy Blue Thumb, and we are back with another one. And in today's video, we are going over Mycology Supplies 101, a complete guide on all the supplies you're going to need when starting your mycology journey. Now, you guys know if you've been following the channel, we started in a small corner in the kitchen and we eventually upgraded to this. But we're going to go over the tools that are essential for the beginnings of your mycology journey. So let's get it. Let's go. All right, Shroomies, the time is now. It is finally that time to start our mycology journey. We've done all the research. We know what to do. Now we're going to look for the tools to get that job done. We need to know what is the supplies needed to get this job done. Doesn't matter what the job is, you need the right tools. So I compiled the list from the very beginning of inoculation to our harvest. Now you don't need exactly the name brands that I'm using, but you're going to need what I put on this list. It's very important to have the very clean and sanitary environment that we work in, especially in the beginning. You know, I started off in the, the corner of a kitchen. We had plenty of successful grows from there. So this is the essential beginning tools for that journey. So let's get into it. Number one, our isopropyl alcohol, 70%. Now, 70% is a very important key component to our sanitation for the grows 90 percent and above it evaporates too fast and it doesn't clean the surface properly the 70 percent it allowed to sit there for a little bit and kill off and disinfect whatever bacteria that is on the surface we want to focus on growing one fungus not a bunch 70 percent iso ISO, 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 70%. Next up, gloves. Now, gloves are important because our hands hold dirt and oils. And if we start touching stuff in our grow area, we're going to instantly contaminate it. So gloves always must be worn from the very beginning of our grow to the very end. These are powder-free, regular black gloves. Paper towels, get yourself a decent brand of paper towels. The cheap ones are cheap, but they are exactly that. They're cheap, they break up, it's a mess. Just get some decent paper towels and you'll be fine. A lighter and a torch. We're gonna need either or because we need to sanitize our syringe needle. We need to burn it, get it cherry hot, so that way we know we're working with a clean needle. You can use a Bic lighter, it doesn't matter. It just takes a bit longer for it to heat up. I use these torches and I use a coil induction and that will be when you get further advanced. But in the beginning, we need a lighter or a torch. A pair of scissors. Regular standard pair of scissors. And if we're going to use these for mycology, let's just use these for mycology only. Okay. Just even though we're going to wipe them down and spray them with alcohol, you just want to have a designated pair of scissors that you keep inside of your mycology kit. Micro pore tape. Now this is surgical paper tape that we use to cover up any ports or cuts that we make in our grow bags or our grow jars or grain jars but we use micropore tape to cover up any holes for fresh air exchange and just to keep a sanitary environment for whatever is locked inside of that micropore tape this is paper surgical tape and you can see the fibers of the tape very easy to tear and this is our micro pore tape. 
spray bottles. Here we have a spray bottle with just water. And here is a spray bottle of our 70% isopropyl alcohol. Simple spray bottles, one designated for each. Next up, tubs, bins, shoe boxes, whatever you want to call them. This is a six quart tub. And this is a 12 quart tub. Now, if you can get ones with the clear lids, that'll work perfect. But these lids work perfect for me as well. So tubs, gonna need them. Next up, Coco Core, Coco Coir, Coco Quar, Coconut Husk, Dry Cocoa Dust. You're gonna need some Coconut Husk. All right, or the brick. This is loose coconut husk. I like to use the brick because you usually weigh about 650 grams, give or take, and it's easier just to prepare it for later on in our journey. But coconut husk, cocoa core, you're gonna need. All right, so we're towards the end of our supply list and we just need a few more things to complete our first mycology journey. This right here is a grain jar. Now you can order these online. This usually comes with brown rice, popcorn, wild bird seed, um, a bunch of different type of grains, uh, oats. Uh, there's another one I can't think of, Milo but there's a bunch of different types of grains. And this is what it will usually come in a jar like this with a injection port and a fresh air exchange port. And we have the second method, which I've done, which plenty of people first start out with, which is the most inexpensive way to do it is the Uncle Ben's ready rice. Now you can get this rice at any local store um, we use the whole grain brown rice for hours. And this is very, very cheap and inexpensive, like I said, and very easy to do. You can get about five or 10, inject them, cover it up with your micro pour tape, set them aside, and you're good to go. Brown rice, Uncle Ben's, and your grain jar. And last but not least, we're gonna need some form of mushroom to grow, of course. So what are we using? In the very beginning, you're gonna either start out with a spore syringe or a liquid culture syringe. Now, the difference between the two is one, the spore syringe comes in a liquid water sterile solution with spores. It'll look like a big clump of dirt, but these are actual mushroom spores that are sterile and you shake them up and you see the spores break down. Now, the downside to using spores is spores are not the cleanest method because there's a bunch of different spores in here. It's not isolated, a bunch of technical stuff, but it's not the best method right off in the beginning, but it is the most inexpensive. You can get a few of these spore syringes for a couple dollars. The other method we have is a liquid culture syringe. Now this is when the mycelium is already developed and is in a nutritional broth of some sort. And this is a liquid culture. These are usually faster. These are usually if you get them from the right source, you can just inject and go and you don't have to worry about contamination too much, but you want to always test them. But we're in the beginning stages. We want to grow mushrooms. So we have a liquid culture, which is usually, which is faster. It's not usually it is faster than using a spore syringe. The spore syringe has to germinate. This is already good to go and germinated for you. The mycelium is ready to latch onto something and spread so we have liquid culture and a spore syringe 
All right, Shumis, here goes my mycology bin supply kit, whatever you want to call it. This is where I keep all my stuff. We got gloves, paper towel, scissors, scalpel blades, torches. We have micro pour tape and we have our grafting tape. We use this for our agar dishes and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. Got an extra lighter. Just a 12 quart bin with all of the supplies that I know for a fact that I'm gonna use once I start working. Just an idea. All right, Shroomies, so that is our Mycology 101 supply list. Everything that you're gonna need for the very beginnings of your Mycology journey. Now, you don't need the craziness to start so if you watch the other videos on the playlist, you'll be able to see, we start with the bare minimum. We don't need fancy equipment. If you wanna get into the hobby and elevate, then of course you can get the equipment. But for now, this is all you need for your mycology journey. Very simple, very easy. So I wanna wish you guys luck on your grows. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, tell me how you really feel in the comments below. I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Y'all be easy. Hey.